The collisions we've examined so far were all head-on collisions, which means that the collider's velocities all pointed along the x-axis. But what if two colliders approach each other at an angle? Or what if an incoming collider doesn't approach head-on but glances off the target? These are important factors to consider when working with billiard balls or car accidents, and so we also need to study collisions that take place along both the x and y axes. We call these cases glancing collisions. When we studied elastic head-on collisions, we could think in terms of the colliders exchanging momentum. We can do the same thing with glancing collisions if we divide the collider's momenta into two pieces. First, we need to think of a vector pointing from the center of the left collider to the center of the right collider. Part of the collider's velocities will point parallel to this vector. We'll call this the parallel pieces of the velocities. We can assign a number to this piece using a process called the dot product. The dot product is a way of multiplying two vectors together that gives you a single number. We'll use vPython to calculate the dot product for us, but you can read more about the dot product at the links in the description below. The other piece of the velocities points perpendicular to the center-to-center -center vector. We'll calculate this piece of the velocities by subtracting the parallel piece from the original vector. The reason we need to separate the velocity vectors into parallel and perpendicular pieces is because the parallel pieces will obey the momentum exchange formulas that we used previously, while the perpendicular pieces will remain the same. Returning to our code from the previous episode, the only thing we need to change is phase two, where the momentum exchange is calculated. First, we calculate the center-to-center -center vector between the two colliders. We're using vPython's hat function here since we only need the direction of this vector, not the magnitude. Next, we use the dot product to calculate the parallel piece of the collider's velocity vectors. Then, we calculate the perpendicular piece of the velocities by subtracting off the parallel pieces. Each perpendicular piece will remain the same while we adjust the parallel pieces. Here we calculate the new parallel piece of each velocity using the same momentum exchange formula that we used before. We've simply changed the name of the velocity variables involved. Finally, we assemble the velocity vectors using the original perpendicular pieces and the new parallel pieces. First, let's check to make sure that these changes produce the same results like we've seen before. We'll give the two colliders the same mass and opposite velocities. Sure enough, they simply bounce off in the opposite directions. Now let's try moving the left collider up just a little bit so that the colliders strike each other at an angle. Now when they bounce off of each other, they move away at a slight angle. The graphs show that they've exchanged velocities in the x direction and picked up opposite velocities in the y direction. This code will also show us the total momentum and total kinetic energy during phase one and phase three of the collision. Just as expected, these totals are the same. With confidence that our code is working correctly, let's increase the vertical distance between the colliders. Now they bounce off at a larger angle. This process is an example of what physicists call scattering, where we study the change in scattering angle based on changes in the vertical distance, which we call the impact parameter. You have now learned how to model glancing collisions in vPython. Follow the link in the description below to find a set of activities to help you learn more about glancing collisions.